I had a few requests to do uh, an MRE review out in the boonies. So uh, I figured I would pick a, a great day when it was raining a little bit. Because when uh, I had the honor of serving in the Army, it seemed like the mantra was, if it ain't raining, we ain't training. So let's uh, start humping. I this was pretty cool when I came up here. The water has <clears throat> eroded into that root disc. Actually, pretty neat. Okay, we found a nice place to sit. I happen to have menu number 21, chicken breast filet. With me, and it's got a garlic and herb seasoning. I've already had the main. Uh, it was in one of the first strike rations that I had. So, let's see what's uh, inside of this thing. It is a little wet out here. And of course, it's uh, a Merrick wall, so it's always got to be in another type of bag. I don't think I've seen that in one of these before. Spoon. Mm -mm. Dairy shake. I don't know how, how I feel about shelf stable mayonnaise, but tortillas. Cashews, jalapeno flavor. Vanilla pound cake, accessory packet, baked snack crackers. I imagine these are probably like Cheez Its kind of thing. And then, of course, the main, the chicken breast filet. Well, uh, I hope I have a beverage in here because I'm not super. Uh, thrill with the dairy shakes. So let's take a look inside the accessory packet. Ah, and we do. Thank God. We have a, a raspberry drink. And that's good because it goes in uh, 20 ounces. Some salt. Moist towelette. TP. And uh, of course some chewing gum. Alright, <laughs> I'm looking in here. Uh, no ration heater. So, looks like we're out here in, in the cold. <laughs> going to have a cold ration. Well, that really brings me back to my army days because we didn't have ration heaters in our rations. It came in a separate, like, 10-pack or 6-pack. So, <laughs> well, alright. Let's, uh... Get the drink made and we'll uh, start chowing down. Now it's becoming a lot more common that uh, guys out in the field are being issued these, which this works perfect for these because these are, you know, 20 ounce bottles. I think this is actually like a 16 ounce bottle, but close enough. Set that right there a second.
and we'll give that a shake. Looks like a nice color to me. Set that right there. All right, let me get all this junk out of here that I'm not going to be using real quick. I was going to try out uh, Falcon Uruguay's tip about using a little bit of uh, salt in your heater to get that little extra activation boost, but that's not happening. Looks like somebody at Ameriqual uh, failed the quality control check for, for this ration, but hey, I think it'll be all right. And this feels like a, instead of one chunk, feels like a couple of chunks. So there is that. And we can see the date code on there. So. A little bit of sauce right there. I think this might be kind of interesting to get out of there. So, hmm, pretty cool. I'll set that right there. And the only thing to uh, really use it with is, is these. You figure it out some cheese or something instead of fat-free mayonnaise. But, hey, you got to use what they give you, right? I was looking forward to having these nice and heated up. But it is what it is. Well, these are going to be kind of runny and soupy. Oh, all right, let's try to do this without. See, this is the challenge. These things split. And when these have uh, too much liquid, you end up getting the liquid everywhere. All over you, all over your gear, all over your kit. So that is always uh, a challenge. See, and that liquid finds that split no matter what. <clears throat> well, I'm not too thrilled with this, but we'll use it because that's what's in here. I recall not really having a whole lot of choices about what what I got in the field. Uh, it kind of went like on a rotation, and that was including, uh, you know, the squaw leader, section chief, said, okay, it's your turn to, to reach your hand in the box and, and grab a ration, and that's kind of how, how we did it. That's ah, actually not too bad. Let me grab my bag over here. Kind of use this as a, like a placemat kind of thing so I can show you guys some of these. And like I thought, they're kind of like Cheez-Its. And these might be good actually inside of there. So there you go. Of course, you live anywhere in Maryland. There's not too many rural places in the central part. There's always an airplane or something flying overhead. So, even out here in the semi sort of sticks. So, then the cashew jalapeno flavor. Give them a try. Well, I wouldn't say real jalapeno-y. Uh, very mild, if, if at all. I really don't even taste it. And let's look at this vanilla pound cake. And this is kind of what I was used to. Some kind of rectangle mass of, of stuff. So, yeah, all in all, this is kind of kind of nostalgic. We'll take a sip of our raspberry drink. Yeah, and it's almost better just having a few ounces less than the 20, but it's still pretty, uh, pretty tasty. So, yeah, 
this isn't too bad. Well, let me try pulling this apart. And we'll put some of this uh, seasoning in here. I imagine this is going to be like a, kind of like a Mrs. Dash kind of thing. So we'll put a little of that and give that a try. It does add quite a bit of flavor to that, so that's kind of nice. And let's do what I said earlier. Let's stick a couple of these in there just for texture so you can get a little crunch. Oh, yeah. All that combined is uh, pretty decent. Uh, the vanilla pound cake. That has like that sugary kind of taste that you would get like like in a tasty cake kind of thing or like a hostess. So, yep, that's pretty tasty. So, well, this was, of course, you can see menu number 21. And it was chicken breast filet, garlic and herb seasoning. So, didn't come with a heater. Total bummer. So, I couldn't... Uh, try that out under these wet conditions to have some hot chow but it brought me back to to my roots because you know we didn't have them so this is what we did so thanks for watching uh and i'll see you next time bye Perfect timing. <laughs> it's just starting to rain again. All right. Bye.